Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Occupus Trip Undead and Undressed. In the last episode, we met our main character, Nanashi, the solid protagonist, who was being experimented upon after, after supposedly falling for a job interview. We got turned into a synthester, which is like a man made vampire whose weakness is sunlight. But we got brought up, gotten rescued by a, a synthester hunter, Shizuke, who shares some of her blood with us, and we become like kind of a synthester, but. But we're not at the same time. And uh, she told us to go somewhere safe. And we ran into the Mogra headquarters, which is the home of the Occupy Freedom Fighters. And that's where we're at now. And I'm going to show you... Uh, uh, this, is, this is the menu. Like, when you go to the menu, this is just your status. It just tells you, like, where you're at right now. And your equipment and stuff like that. Uh, you can change your equipment once you get some. Shizuku has... Uh, Top, bottom, mules, and underwear. Yeah. Like I said, this game is weird. You can actually see them in the underwear. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but you can. Items. You got there's items if you got them, which we don't. There's a help screen. There's a save screen. You can save at any time. There's the emails. The Pitter, which is a uh, parody of Twitter. And this is just a little thing about the uh, Otaku and uh, this pair of Akihabara, Akiba, and people are just talking about it. Uh, camera, if you want to take camera, there's the to-do list, there's options. Records, it tells you that. Encyclopedia is basically any terms and stuff you want to know, like the Omega Sanctum. A synthesizer that can be held like a guitar. Custom made just for Alright, okay, so uh, these, are, these are all uh, stuff I got from the other game too. So, <laughs> and then of course the map of Akiba, which is deceptively big, like I said. Anyway, let's head to Mogra headquarters. Basically, we gotta head up. Uh, just follow the. Hey, hey, hey! I want the note location of a duty free shop. I'll be happy if you can take me one. Please, nice person. Basically, we. Gotta just head over here to uh, just follow the uh, exclamation point. Let's keep following the exclamation point and we'll eventually get there. <laughs> Hello? How are you? How uh, probably a little better than what we did. Pretty much back to normal stream shit energetic, like a muscle man. Strangely energetic. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Yeah, we haven't forgotten. Keep on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. Yeah, this is the, uh... The gimmick of the game, you'll soon I see. I the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. Okay. So they're after my clothes? They're after your clothes? So they're after your underwear? <laughs> That's right. right. And if they find you, they're going to attack on sight. Of course, there are bound to be those who will. But I wouldn't count on them. Okay. <laughs> they're here. They're here. So we actually have to do some fighting now. It's her! We found her! Okay. She'll be failures with her too! Let's smush them both! Better we actually get to our... Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. So you're weak to... So, what, so you too, Shizuku? Ah, run away! Let's call the place! Damn, why Why couldn't they have sick girls? Let's call the police! I don't think that's necessary. In fact, the police would only get in our way. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight, awakening. Yeah, I guess so. Join me in this battle. All right, let me at him. Fighting, huh? Guess a better man up. I suppose I really don't. Ah, uh, fighting, huh? Guess a better man up. <laughs> and we're actually gonna get into a fight this time. You should be able, more than capable of putting up a fight at this point. Let's take down these guys down together. Is that the member? Synthesis have tough bodies, so physical punishment alone won't be enough to defeat them. I'll show you what uh, what will though. First, try targeting a specific article of clothing. 
Press X, triangle, to attack the head. Press circle to attack the upper body, and X to for the lower body. Your goal is wear down each of the clothing uh, clo uh, opponent's clothing items, not just shirts and pants, but headgear as well. We fight, <laughs> keep targeting it until they start blinking. Well done, your opponent's clothes look pretty scuffed up. When you think you can endure barely enough, you can try pulling them off. Jackson press hold it. Uh, start uh, on it. Grab the appropriate part of the enemy's outfit and attempt to remove it. And notice the base is just ribbing. We fight. Hey, hey, <laughs> And basically that's what you do. Now you've got to target all of the parts of his body until... And then he'll, uh... Now he's got to target the head, because he's got a good, he's got a head down. And once you get them all removed... He dies. Did you know you can press and hold L1 to straighten your clothes by fully recovering fully recovering all of your ability that's been lost? Come on, there's only one left, so let's get the double whistles for reinforcements alive. Yeah, you guys continue doing that. And now we can go pick up all the spoils. And pick up the spoil. I think we're safe for the moment. Don't forget what you've learned here today, though, as it will likely come in very handy. And that's the point of the game. You can see why this game might be getting perverted here in a little while. We won. <laughs> we did, somehow. Oh, I was so caught up in a moment, I barely noticed how well we were doing. Where did all the streets come from? Hmm. Who's that? Hello. Who are you? Rosky, you're alive. Oh, and it's our sister. Remember the one that's like, bro, 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 and all kind of stuff, and ask me where we're at. That's our, uh, here's our little sister. I haven't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? She saved my life. It's complimentary. Just a girl who kissed me, that's all. She saved my life. Saved your life. Oh, I see. I see. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worry these past three days. Okay. Well, what are you going to do? I didn't mean to. It was out of my hands. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> the present situation is this. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea, which that shop over there just got in. Okay. Mission, purchase shirt for adorable sister. I can't exactly say no to that. Please don't let it be expensive. Anything for my adorable little sister. <laughs> yeah, Nana's awesome. I freaking love Nana. There, we good? That was price enough to imagine. Is it to your liking, my lady? I'm happy now. Thanks, bro tags. And she makes a lot of bro bro, bro puns. Get related to her being related to her is so damn expensive. I let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you better be ready to declare bankruptcy. Ha! Beep. The other freedom <laughs> fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The okay. longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you will be in. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Yeah, she can help you, like, fix Just your clothes or change your clothes. The present or... situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in such as I. Yeah, she's a shut-in. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back in peace. Okay. Your little sister is certainly 
unique. Unique is not the way to describe it. Embarrassingly so, yeah, she's pretty much hopeless. I'm proud to call her my dear sister. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? Not really. If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Yeah, I guess we need to draw some attention to ourselves. If we head through UD+, we'll be there in no time flat. But now that we got those... Uh, uh, Equipment, we can actually go to uh, change equipment and we can actually equip ourselves with some uh, uh, equipment. And I see I got the monitor and the passive bat that they were using, and now I got me a uh, I got me a b bunch of different. Outfits and stuff like that. So I'm a little bit more powerful now. Man, I got an email? Email. Come straight home. No detours. Everybody's worried about you. I don't think you should come. I think you should come straight back to the base. Don't stop anywhere else. Not even to pee. You're not my boss, mama. Nana. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we just follow here. You're not my. You're not the boss of me now. But yeah, I can see when we get stronger, our appearance has changed stuff too. There's Nana. So we're heading in the right direction. So just follow her. And now we got a monitor we can attack with when we actually start attacking. But yeah, some of the weapons are outrageous. They're really. Some of them are really cool, but. Some of them are just really outrageous. Wait, right, here's Mogra headquarters. Hello. This place. You know, okay, so we got a mission success. We made it to the Mogra. Is this Mogra? Yes, it is. Welcome back, Master. So next world's name is Katie. Oh, is it really you? Yeah, it's me. You've been gone for three whole days, man. Where you been? So this one's Pops. The hell were you thinking disappearing like that? I thought you were sure kidnapped. Tachibana. What do I know that last name from? Tachibana. From another anime, I know it's a common last name, but this is Tachibana. I don't know. <laughs> and what's with the high quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy. Oh, so you didn't see the Tachibana. That's gonna drive me crazy, Tachibana. She saved my life for dating. Oh, I can tell you're real worried. She saved your life? Oh, there's Toko. How can I possibly explain this to them? And we're gonna explain it to them the best as we can, I guess. You serious? Man, I never would have guessed never all those rumors, those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true. Yeah. Rumors? I don't think, uh... What, you mean you haven't heard them? There've been like a million clips about it. People getting kidnapped, turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals. Yeah, and now we're one of them. Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. Wow. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states... What is it, though? Tachibana. Tachibana. That's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna look that up later. It's because they've been attacked by these synthesters? Yeah. They're, they're twins, by the way. 
I think I understand. This is okay. one of those tools that's stranger than fraction schemes, right? Yeah, she's kind of like the foreign, don't quite get the English language people. That would be fiction, Cotty. Truth is stranger than fiction. So let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? Yep. And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Hey! <laughs> Come on, Toko, he's been through enough already. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. Guys, all he cares about is figurines! Yeah, I was a victim of circumstance, I'm a sucker for a pretty figurine, and materialism is all our luring <laughs> materialism. I'm a sucker for a pretty figurine. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. What do you mean, a vacuum? I yield, I repent my transgressions. Can you see your heart to forgive me? Well, that's the way... Can you see it in your heart to forgive me? So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. Okay, so yeah, we finally get to meet everybody. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Tachibana? That's gonna drive me freaking crazy. My name I'm gonna look that Shizuku. up. Shizuku Tokikaze. But I'm gonna look that up now while this is we going. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Okay. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. That's cool. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right. That's right, and I'm one of the, central, one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. Uh, As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm fine with all the ideas. Of course you are. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? Ha. You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers! It's against the rules! Yes, yes, that's enough now! I'm Kachi Haikun! I drew on in from Finland to Japan so I could see and do its cool busy culture! I believe what she's trying to do is she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture. Alright, so she's from Finland. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this here game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. That's my kind of place. Free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. Okay. But you're welcome to call me dear sweet old man if you prefer. Don't. He's got yeah. a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. Ha! I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolph and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. So she's the childhood friend. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Uh, I, I guess it would mean Nana. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? Like the police is going to believe us. They'd never believe a word of it. Exactly. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthester things now yourself, right? Yeah. No, no, that's no good. He'd get detected and have weird science and tests run on him. That's true too, I guess. Hmm. 
So going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Shut up, Kaido! Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? Can we get him back to normal? Is that even possible? I mean, if he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? We've already started. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. That's looking more into the synthesizers. It's finally made it with me human again. Let me catch up on my DVR there. That's looking more into the synthesizers. Yeah, that's a good call. And we should start by checking out the place where you interviewed. If we could find clues anywhere, that would be the most obvious spot. Yeah, it would be. Hmm. There's still, there's still an awful, an awful lot, lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Unless the police are in cahoots with them. Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Yep. Oh! Hey, Tokikaze! Would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. I guess I mean, that's noble. <laughs> I think that ship is on But yeah, uh, when, when he came here, you, you, they became uh, involved. No kidding. no kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. Yep. So yeah, if you can help with that, he ain't gonna stop you. Alright. So she has agreed to help. Okay then, perfect. She's a group. Please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. Who does not have a cell phone? That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Let me guess, you don't have one of them either. Um, well... Hmm. Sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Uh, about that. Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. Yeah. So like Seriously? So you're an honest to goodness real life runaway? All mired in melodrama? Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right to me. I didn't run away exactly. And I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Manga in a shower. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? No, apparently not. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pop, you know, upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. So she's gonna, they're going to offer her a place to stay at her, What do you say, place? Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's got to be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Sure. Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Ong! Really? Did you just do a Mario reference? But wait. 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 I haven't agreed to anything. Please, for me, congrats, Freedom Fighter. Oh, don't go, please don't go. Please, for me. <laughs> All right. Just for a little while. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <sighs> okay, so here we Freedom Fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. Yeah, it's about to get really hairy. You said you fought some of these things already. But aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? No. 
I was forced into the fires of Toko's Wrath. I can hold my own in fighting games while I can argue with the best of them. I was forged in the fires of Toko's Wrath. I never meant to forge anything. You just mean we fight so often you happen to get something out of it, right? Yeah. I'm not sure I'd even call those fights. They seem to be more like tests of endurance to me. Yeah, so. Huh? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, nothing. <coughs> nothing at all. Dude. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. Sounds like a good idea to me. What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? You'll be surprised. What is run in Akiba? Just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. Her. But she doesn't let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. I'll give her a call and let her know what's up. So you better get going. Oh, and take Shizuku with you too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? Sure, I guess. <laughs> She, how much she's I think Toko should go with. She can probably force her way in there, no problem. Test be damned. Ha! Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Serious. Rude much? No, no. I think they're probably much probably hitting on the point. It's not a bad idea, though. So who will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? I'll go with Katie. Uh, we're gonna go with Shigi she, 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 right. right now. If I'm going to eliminate them, the Synthesters, then I'll... The Battle Arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Jump Street. You got that? Okay. Sure. Knock them dead! So I can get to the Battle Arena through Jump Street. So, we'll take care of all that in a minute. Ah, do you have a moment? Hello. I was wondering if there's anyone you have your eye on. I'm very perspective in matters of the heart, so I can give you what the many girls in your life think of you. Please feel free to ask me for any uh, for an update any time. As you continue on your journey, the conversation choices you make deter will determine on how you've regarded, which in turn may affect the story's outcome. And there, I'll explain that to you in the next episode. So be sure to check out with me from time to time, and I'll always think before you speak. All right. So basically, I'll, I'll explain that right now. Uh, all, uh, you'll meet a bunch of girls throughout the game, and all the conversations with them, there's like nine different endings or something like that. One for like each girl and all that kind of stuff. But depending on which choice and stuff like that, it depends on which girl and which character and all that kind of stuff you um, have a relationship at the end of the game. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the first time I played through the game, I, I had Toko. Toko was my, so I'm going to try for somebody new, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get somebody new, but this works. All right, so we gotta um, talk about the uh, battle arena right there. But uh, so that's basically what that is. But we're gonna end it here, guys. When we come back, we're going to head to the battle arena. We've had our next objective, and we're gonna see what we need to do to uh, take care of that, and uh, see what we need to do. Probably hold up our skills and get through the battle arena. So have a good day. I'll see y'all next time. Let's play Occupus Trip Undead and Undressed. This is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.